number one reason for what I do is for a living. You know, it was, it's really two parts. One was before Christ and after Christ. Before Christ, it was to prove myself that I was good, good as anybody else. And then I want to show I was better than anybody else by showing, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to show you that I can do this. And to show that I'm worth, I'm worth it. Uh, and that was before I accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. Now, it's more about how can I be used so that I can reach, so I can share the love of Christ with people. And because of that, I've, I've, because of my crutches, having leg braces and whatnot, people speak with me. So for me now, the purpose is how, how can, how can um, I be used by God for his glory? And that, that's really is what's driving me because, um, you know, I have, a, I have a purpose now. And it says, Ephesians 2.10, that we are, and I, I truly believe this, we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he prepared in advance for us to do. So even a you know, kid with the polio from Korea, an orphan comes in, I have purpose in life. And that purpose is to share God's love with people who are hurting. And, and kids with polio, disabled kids, street kids, orphan kids, they'll relate to me. And when I share my stories, they have hope. And that's why it really drives me. And, and for working at MAP, it's really to provide medicines because if you can treat somebody and prevent it, it's so much better than trying to deal with it later. And so the medicine for me is like, let's get them the antibiotics. You know, the, the, everybody has potential. And so that's what drives me now.